First of all, we I was fortunate enough to do a movie with, with you a yeah. long time ago. We did Goodbye Lover together. That's right. And it was so much fun. Yeah. You always play really creepy characters. And um, <laughs> you, you're really good at that. Thank um, you. You're welcome. So, uh, but since then, I mean, you've gone on to win uh, an Oscar for Boyhood. Then you yeah. won the Golden Globe for Escape at Dana, what is it called? Danamore. Danamore, yeah. I can't ever remember the name. But um, oh. but it's fantastic. I mean, because you've been doing this a long time. Yeah. And you know, it's really all about the project. It's it's about the right thing. It's unbelievable. I, I didn't think it was gonna happen, especially at 50 to be getting these incredible jobs. Yeah, yeah, incredible jobs. We're gonna talk about the act, which I can't wait for people to see. I mean, this is, and you'll know the story when we remind you what the story is. Explain what's going on. The, she, her daughter's not sick. Right. She, she has Munchausen by proxy, which is when a parent or caretaker starts getting medical procedures done to their child and medical procedures that they don't need. And to keep her, and this is a true story, this, this girl ended up killing her mother when she found out that she could walk and she could eat. She had a feeding tube in her. Um, had, the it, mom had the salivary glands removed from the daughter, like a lot of procedures, and it's, apparently it's deadly, uh, one in 10 children who have parents that are doing this die from it. Well, it's, it's the, I'm just on, I've, I've gotten some advanced uh, DVDs and I've watched three so far and it's unbelievable. You're amazing in this. Uh, the girl, uh, Joey, uh, jo King. Joey King, is incredible. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it, uh, it's just so good. And the fact that it's a true story is, it's frightening. It's really terrifying. It's really weird. And besides the weirdness of the Munchausen by proxy, the end of the story it just keeps twisting and turning. What, how this girl adopts to survive and the choices that she makes and who she becomes becomes its whole own story. That's yeah, I really can't wait to see that because, you know, it starts out with, you know that she killed her mother, uh, but it, she loves her mother so much and thinks that her mother needs her and doesn't even want to turn her in when she realizes a doctor is trying to help her. But what, is she in, in prison now? She's in prison now, and one of the things that she'd said to one of our, uh, our writers and producers, is her name's Michelle Dean, she wrote the first BuzzFeed article for this and had many interviews with Gypsy. And one of the things Gypsy said was, why, when she asked why she killed her was, um, well, what would happen if I left her? Wow. What would happen to her? She was worried about just leaving her alone, so she... And if it came out, would her mom go to jail? And how would that be for her mom to be in jail? Wow. Yeah, so, so now she's crazy. in jail, so she did that, so she'd go to jail. Yeah, it's so strange. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. The story is incredible. It's very well done. It's on Hulu, and it starts uh, March 20th on Hulu. It's, it's really good. Um, Patricia, it's great seeing you again. Great to see you. We'll be right back. You are unbelievable. I, I watched, I got it ahead of time, and, uh, and Patricia Arquette is a friend of mine, and she's brilliant in this. Yeah. And I was like, who is this? I, sh she's un Who is she? You, you're, oh. you, it's you, is who she is. <laughs> you're unbelievable. Um, can we just, I wanna start by talking about uh, this a little bit. Um, so it is, it's a true story yes. about a woman who uh, is struggling, uh, she, with, she has Munchausen's disease. Yeah, she has Munchausen by proxy and basically that means like you thrive off of caring for someone else who doesn't need it. So you're poisoning somebody basically so you thrive off of that want and need that they give you. Right, so she was, uh, like for instance, she was doing what to her daughter? So Gypsy, I mean, she, she could eat fine. She had her on a feeding tube. She convinced doctors that she needed her salivary glands removed. She shaved her head to make it look like she had leukemia. She didn't need a wheelchair. She was in a wheelchair. So. Yeah. So, uh, and you are so good in this. So obviously you didn't know the story, but you learned it when you, when you were offered the role? Yeah, so I got the audition. I was like, I, I heard of the story before, and hey, what's up? Uh, and then um, I kind of did a deep dive into research, and I was, my mind was completely blown, and it was just a boatload of information. Yeah. Because she, she murders her mother, or somebody murders her mother. Yes. Her mother's, and you get that right away that she kills her mother because she did this to her her whole life. Yeah. And Gypsy is now in prison, prison yeah. for doing this. Yeah. Even though her mother, like, 
held completely her, held her prisoner for her whole life. Her whole and, life, like tortured her basically. Yeah. yeah. Did you have you spoken with Gypsy? Did you get any information from her? Unfortunately, I couldn't speak directly with Gypsy, but we did have uh, one of our producers on the show was the writer of the BuzzFeed article that completely blew up and was in the documentary also as a producer. So she was one of our producers on the show, right. and she had a personal relationship with Gypsy. So that was helpful to be able to go to her. Yeah. And the scene when, uh, I don't want to give too much away, but she, she sends you to the dentist and does something <sighs> horrific. I but know. the scene when you look in the mirror and you're sobbing uncontrollably, Ooh. it's, I, you're just amazing. You're just, <laughs> you're brilliant in this. It, like, you're just incredible. Thank you. I mean. <laughs> Thank you. That yeah. like, you have no idea like how freaking excited I am to be here. I, I love you so much. I, who doesn't, though? And then last year, I came here with my sister for her birthday in the audience. I sat in the audience. Oh. She's right there. Hi. And so we, we, I, we just, I, we love you. I love you so oh, much. thank you. Hi, well, Andy. I'm such a big fan of you. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I love Andy so much, too. Yeah, I love Andy, too. <laughs> he's a, he's a, so average. Um, <laughs> so, and then you, you know, I love to scare people and I love pranks, oh. but you took it to a level for ha April Fool's Day, uh, which was yesterday, um, was uh, tell everyone what you did to your sister. So, she's right there. Um, uh, Hunter, poor thing, she gets the brunt of all my jokes. I took her deodorant and I twisted out all of the deodorant and I packed it with cream cheese instead. <laughs> And I froze it so it would take on the shape of deodorant. Like, yeah, you know. And then I gave her a hug later on. I was like, oh, bro, like, girl to girl, you need some deodorant. And she used it and, like, didn't know until later on she started to smell like a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> what made you think of doing that? How would you think to put cream cheese in a deodorant? I, I, you know, it's uh, weird in there. OK, so. I see. <laughs> All right, you, you guys, if you haven't started watching the act on Hulu, you, you must see it. It's so, so good. And Patricia Arquette is brilliant in it. You're brilliant in it. Thank you. It's, it's just really great. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, my God. All so right. nice to meet you. All right, we'll be right back.